Okay, so three years ago, we built this antenna mast. And it's a mast that's meant to hold up one side of a horizontal trapped dipole antenna. Um, then we had an incident with the tractor. It hit one of the guy lines and it took it down. And so that brought us to version two of the antenna mast. And then? And then we had a storm and a tree fell on it and... <laughs> now we have this. We have a broken antenna mast that we are going to be repairing today. And so we thought we'd bring you on the adventure, go all the way back to when we first started building this antenna mast and then show you what the final product looks like now, or at least soon from now when we finish rebuilding it. I'm Drew, call sign AC3DS. I'm Benjamin, call sign KC3TFK. And you're watching Transmitting Until Robots Replace Us. Okay, we're here and we're gonna be building an antenna mast. So to do that, we are going to need a few things. One is a three-fourths steel conduit, and that's to, like, that's the mast itself. But we're going to have to add some things onto it to keep it steady and to make it so the uh, antenna, this actual antenna, can hold on to it. So we have an eye bolt here so that the string that's connected to the antenna can go right through that and tighten the antenna. So we also have some guy wires. Those are to keep it steady. What's connected to the guide wires is some more eye bolts. We are going to connect three conduits and how we're going to do that is we're going to use these connector pieces you can get them at Lowe's and for that we are going to put one piece down into the ground for about four feet and we are going to dig a hole and fill it with concrete these eye bolts are going to be going on here like I mentioned earlier and here this is the part that's going to connect to the house and that will be going right here where this thing is right there and it's going to connect there and loop around and go down to one of these a dock cleat and I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one. But but what we're going to use the other dock cleat for is we are going to connect it to this here. And we're going to put it right there for to tighten the string. We also have some paracord. And we are going to be using this for the um, guide wires here. And we're also going to be using it for these what these strings here because this and this what you see in red is not actually the antenna it's string attached to the antenna so that it'll keep it taut so let's get building now we will be doing the drilling of the holes for the dock cleat Dug it to four feet de deep, but as you see, there's a whole bunch of water in it. We're gonna do it anyway, though. Uh, we have our poles here that are done, so let's get building. Oh, so we are going to be connecting the poles with this, as I mentioned earlier. 
the connector piece. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to slip the tool, two poles together and we're going to tighten this with a screwdriver. Now it's time to install the mast. Let's get to it. Officially at the base. This is in the hole. Okay, so then we walk it. We set up the mast using these uh, screw terminal uh, fittings. Uh, but we really didn't like them all that much. Uh, that we just felt like there was not much uh, security and it, uh, it just didn't really clamp down on it very well. So what we've decided to do is we've decided to switch over to these, uh, try out these compression fittings. Uh, we're gonna see how those work. And we're also going to try and shore it up by adding these wooden dowels into the posts, uh, into the conduit and see how those work. So let's get to it. Version 1.1 worked out very well and stood for around a year without having any issues, uh, even though we never poured concrete into that hole. That happy accident led us to version 2.0 of the antenna mast, where we switched from three quarter inch conduit to one and three eighths inch top rail. And this worked out really well. We used the sleeves meant for top rail to connect the two pieces together and then bolted them using the eye bolts. And we added a winch uh, to the base, which we actually created and using two four by four inch posts, which we then concreted into the ground. And this worked out really, really well. At least it worked out well until a tree fell on the antenna during a storm in the fall of 2021. And while it didn't break the antenna, uh, it did manage to bend the center section of the mast. We decided to rebuild the antenna mast the same way that we had previously, uh, which involved drilling some holes through the sleeves and the top rail, and then connecting the pieces together. Having all of the holes line up right is a little bit of a challenge, but it worked out for us just fine. And we were able to uh, slide some bolts right through. With the mast rebuilt, it was time to stand it up and test it out. We did this by using the winch as designed. We provided a little extra support as I walked up a ladder. And then finally, KC3 RPI and N3DOE, Emma and Hannah, uh, both were pulling on guy lines to, again, just give it a little bit of extra assistance. And everything went exactly as planned and it went right up and worked perfectly. Very, very pleased with everything as it went. The winch system that we're using here has a braided cable uh, that is connected down through a pulley and then onto a hook that then loops into an eye bolt uh, that is connected to the, the base of the antenna mast. The mast is actually pivoting on a piece of all thread that is you know, drilled and put all the way through the two 4x4 four four posts. Uh, at the base, we have a copper grounding rod and an eye hook in case we later decided we needed to secure it. We used gate hinges as a way of guiding our main rope that is connected to the antenna for hoisting it up and down, and this helped to prevent it from getting tangled. At the house peak, we decided to move our pulley from inside of the house, which was just on the inside of that vent, to the outside, which meant climbing up and then relooping the rope back down through so that way we could connect it to the antenna. At the base of the house, we installed a dock cleat to be able to wrap the rope. Benjamin used some fancy knot tying techniques to attach the antenna to both ropes, and then it was time to hoist up the antenna.
Well, it's finished. Yep, it's up, it's straight, it's holding the antenna, and it's looking pretty good. So I think we're happy. So thanks for watching. Until next time.